creator, the beloved one, you know, uh, beloved father, mother, creator, is, you know, the source that we are, are connecting to. So this idea of a patriarchal God and, uh, you know, and the, and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is seen as being, again, a masculine force. And um, without the acknowledgement of the feminine. And the difference between, say, between saying the beloved Father and the, blo the beloved Father, Mother God. And what happens in our consciousness when we acknowledge the polarity, the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. That really is the, the deep alchemical work that was assigned um, the, the early church in, in Britain. It was to carry that reconciled opposites of the masculine and the feminine. But what happened was the, the masculine took over, persecuted the feminine, drove the feminine underground, burnt the feminine, projected everything vile and nasty. I mean, you think about what our mother goes through, the assaults. I was listening to this program on CBC about <clears throat> this photographer, Canadian photographer, who, who's who's you know become quite famous because of his photographs of these mega um, Earth projects that are that are being created by corporations like you know uh, uh, Suncor and Mass, you know, and Shell and you know, corporations that are are changing, you know, thousands of acres of land and transforming the landscape and to be uh, all about ex extorting resources from the planet by drilling into her, by sucking out the oil in her, you know, clear cutting the forests that provide the air, her lungs. Our, our lungs, crazy, polluting the water that sustains us through our greed. And I mean, this is all you know, the challenge that the church is facing today is to, is to address these deep psychic schisms that are in our culture. And it's because we're divorced from ourselves. And as I've said over and over again, the challenge of the church today is to guide people into an experience of themselves that is expanded, that is transcendent. And that's, that is the existential reason for the church to be. It is to transmit Cosmic consciousness, Christed consciousness, divine realization, intelligent awareness. These are the these are the, the gifts of this of realization.